Hello students, welcome to PLK Computer Star YouTube channel. Okay, in this tutorial video, we are going to discuss about output of QBasic program for grade 9. Okay, in question number 1, uh, write down the output of the given program showed with dry running table. Okay, so this is the program and we have to write. Okay, so my dear when this is the simply mathematical calculation. Okay, so in three column we can write. Okay, so number 1 given when we talk about given, so what is given? Look at the above program. So A is 100, okay. Then value of B is 50, okay. So you, you can look here value given. And in uh, output, uh, always uh, there will be value given. Now, what is the formula here? So product, okay. So product is A times B. Value of A is 100 and b value 50 if you multiply it will come 5000 okay now while printing a statement okay so look at the print statement this is the output now time uh, we have here one message product of two numbers is okay so that mass this uh, message or a string it will appear in output a screen okay so and what is the final answer 5000 okay so this is the uh, dry run okay my dear students so now final answer you can write okay for therefore alt 8 7 5 6 okay so therefore final output is what is the final output this one this is the so you can write product of two numbers is what is the answer 5000 okay in this way you can write the output of given question okay if it is the multiplication only okay then what you have to uh, uh, multiply here there is no other arithmetic operator here so simply if it is the mathematical uh, type of question okay at that time you can uh, do the same thing okay now let's move to the uh, question number two before that i will just show the output okay so nine output one okay so this is the question okay and then when you will run my dear student okay so uh you can look uh we are getting the output here okay so output is product of numbers two numbers is okay so what is the answer so we are getting here 5000 okay in this way we can write the output question answer i hope it is not so difficult for you my dear students okay so actually in uh, output okay so this is normal output from qbasic interpreter okay but in examination you uh, can't have access of this qbasic uh, interpreter so you have to perform like this okay my dear students now let's go to the question number two in question number two if you look here so we have here uh value of ptr and we have to calculate simple interest okay for that what we have to just uh, make three columns okay sorry three row so one uh, given so given value will write here so p is thousand then next t value of t is 10 value of r is 30 okay so by looking at program you can write okay second is the the formula okay so what is formula p times t times r divided by 100 okay so now substitute the value 1000 times okay value of t is 10 into value of r is 30 divided by 100 okay if you do so divide by 100 okay then if you will calculate what it will be so 
uh, 20 so 120 it will go so 3000 it will come here 3000 my dear students okay now it is the uh, last time uh, for the print statement look at print statement what uh string message we have here a uh, simple interest is what is our answer 3000 okay then you can write here my dear students what you can write therefore okay for therefore we can use alt 8756 okay but with pen no need to do this one i am doing with word that's why therefore final output is what is the message here Sim simple interest i n t e r e s r e s t interest is answer is 3000 okay my dear students okay now i will show you the output here so this is program number two okay so when we run so what we are getting the output simple interest is 3000 so this is our final output okay and this is table is called dry table dry turn okay so whatever message it is writing in inverted comma it will appear in output screen okay that's why so remember that one now come to the question number three my dear students okay this is also a mathematical type okay so here we have value of a b c we have to find the average of three number okay so again mathematical what we will do just we will make three row okay so given what is value of a is 10 okay then value of b is 5 similarly value of c is value of c is 3 okay my dear students now formula what it is it is average equal to a plus b plus c divided by 3 now we will substitute the value value of a is 10 plus value of b is 5 value of c is 3 divided by 3 okay so 10 plus 5 plus 3 15 plus 3 18 so 18 divided by 3 oh, value will be 6 okay so now final output uh, time okay so in print we have here message suppose if there is no any message then directly it, it will be 6 will be answer okay but we have here message okay in so average of 3 numbers is 6 okay now you can write the final answer alt 8 7 five six okay so for there for symbol in word final output is what is the output here average of three numbers is six okay now i will show the output in compiler also my dear students okay so this is question number three okay when we run okay my dear students so remember so our answer is average of three number is six okay suppose if there is no message okay so without mass uh, without any message if it is okay just i will delete this one message suppose you are getting only variable so answer will be only six because there is no message okay so i will run it okay so look here we have here only six so no message here so if there is inverted comma so remember that will appear in output screen also so you have to write if there is no message then directly you can write the final output okay so i will bring to new i will uh, i will not save okay fine now question number four my dear students look here okay before there was simple mathematical question okay there was no a repetition no looping here but uh, we we have here one for next loop okay so we have a uh, variable p uh, which will come from one to five okay my dear students okay so then uh, we have one to five so uh, altogether six 
column i will make it okay so one two three four five six sorry six row but two column okay so i will write here variable okay then here it is a print okay so it means uh, it is the output because print is used for output okay my dear students so we have here variable p and during print what there is p caret 2 it means p square okay my dear students and another thing remember we have here semicolon also okay so initial value of of p is 1 okay so 1 2 3 4 it will go up to 5 so you can look here 1 2 5 now each time uh, within the loop it is print okay if it is outside then it will only display only one time but if it is inside loop remember each and every time it will work okay so one so we, i will write here one square so one square is one similarly value of p is now two okay so now two square so two square is four okay my dear students in the same way we can write for the other also okay like uh, now 3 square so 3 carat 2 so 3 square is 9 similarly 4 4 sorry 4 square is 16 similarly 5 square is 25 okay fine so this is the output okay now I will write final output therefore final output is remember my dear students uh, there is no any type kind of message here in inverted comma so only value will only come no message here okay but remember uh, after print uh, then variable we have here semicolon so if there is semicolon then after uh, completion of one character uh, one number it uh, another will come so 1 4 9 16 25 so this is the answer okay my dear students just i will run it also so this is phone number okay so when i will run my dear students okay so if it is semicolon remember okay so after 1 4 9 16 25 okay so after 1 okay so 4 then 9 then 16 then 25 okay my dear students why because there is comma okay after the p square p square there is comma that's why one after another it is coming in one horizontal row okay remember sorry if uh, there is no any uh, symbol here okay then it will come in next horizontal different different line look okay remember okay after print there is no any symbol so the 1 4 9 16 25 okay after one it is coming next horizontal line okay because there is no any symbol if there is semicolon what will happen i have already explained but if there is comma okay comma separator then it will print in next printing zone okay my dear students look all together we have five printing zones so one two three four five so one square two square three square if there is comma okay then there is next printing zone okay in this way it is appearing so remember these things okay so what type of symbol it is given after print okay if nothing then it will come like just horizontal different line in next next row okay if it is semicolon then after one after another it will come but if there is a comma okay then it will print in next printing zone if suppose it was comma so uh, more space we have to give okay so like this next printing zone it will appear okay like if, if suppose there was comma separator okay but it is not okay so for this question this is the correct answer okay this is question number four okay now question number five my dear students okay here is two loop okay p and l okay before it was only p so two loops are here okay 
so one two five so outer loop this and this is the inner loop okay and next there is print without any message only variable with semicolon so one after another it will come so remember my dear students i've already told okay let me make one table okay so in table uh one for variable p l and another for print statement okay so variable p then variable b a r i a variable l then next print okay thus you can say this is for output but output what is l output with semicolon okay my dear students uh, so we have here value one two five okay so i will write the counter effort so one two three four then five my dear students okay now remember so this is the value of p it will go from one to five now if we talk about l so what is the value of l it will be one two p okay so what is the value of okay okay so value of l is one to p now remember so l value it is one and if you go to p and what is the value of p it is only one okay so one to one so it means say the value of l is only one okay next time value of p is two okay value of l is one two value of p is two okay so l means one and next time two because it will go from one to two so one two similarly third time it will be one two three so it will come here one two three so similarly if you look here so value of p is four okay so we can add one two three four finally we have here one two five okay so one two three four five because semicolon so after uh, each item it will come okay my dear students okay so one is face we can give for each one okay one after another it will appear my dear students okay next thing remember after the each time when this value of l is completed then when value of p is increased by one there is one blank line that is print it will print the item in next line it means after the completion of this inner loop it means l okay the next time when the value of p will start to work it will come in next line okay remember students okay so simply if you uh, type here p okay let me show what i mean to say suppose we are writing here print plk computer sir then again hello is hello world okay so when i will run this one my dear students one after another it will come in next line okay look so first plk computer sir then hello world okay but in middle if i will write here one blank print okay so what it will make it will give one blank space okay means one line so from next line it is coming hello world okay so if a print is writing uh, without uh, any variable or any symbol that means we are going to break the line it will come from next line whatever we have learned in uh, uh, html like br tag there was so line break so similar to this print one okay so new okay now i will okay so if i will write uh, your final answer okay therefore final output is what is the output we can add one then one two okay one two three fine 
so one two three four one two three four five so this is the answer okay so i will run it okay so this is program number five my dear students okay so you can get the output look it is coming after one after n so one one two one two three one two three four one two three four five okay in this way you can write if it is nearest a loop question okay okay and uh, this is the last question for this output my dear students okay so before coming to this question uh, there are some library function okay so i will explain that one then i will come to the program so here is one uh, variable called len okay my dear students okay so print len if i will write here plk sor okay and when i will run so how many character are here one two three four five six character here okay so it will come six okay my dear students so function of length is uh, it will count all the character okay but it will count the space also so plk and space sir if i will write now what will be the answer it will be seven so it will count the space also okay so remember len will count the space also so you understood the function of len so in the case of this signs okay so one two three four five six seven okay let me write so seven character are there okay s c i e n c e so the value of length will be seven okay look okay so here yeah, we have seven okay fine so len function you understood okay next thing my dear students are uh, tab okay so tab is it will print for from the a specified location okay suppose if i will write here uh, print tab position is suppose five okay then semicolon after uh, tab it will appear okay if i will write here plk sor let me write only plk okay so if i will run it my dear students look okay from initial to it it is starting from five okay so i will copy this one then i will paste here okay copy then paste shift insert okay let me write i don't know what happened so print tab 5 okay plk next time if i will write print tab 4 plk okay print tab 3 plk okay my dear students print tab 2 plk similarly print tab 1 semicolon sorry semicolon then okay now when i will run this one my dear students remember when it is tab position one so it is a starting from one so tab position two it is a started from after one then two three okay so suppose this is one two then this is the place of three okay this is uh, this is p one place 
L second place and third place okay similarly fourth and five okay it means tab it will print by a specified number of line okay so this is the function of print okay now there is one mid dollar my dear students okay so what is the function of mid dollar it will extract the given character okay so print mid dollar okay just i will write here computer okay a string a string data always in double inverted comma you have to write suppose one comma one okay my dear friends so look uh in computer in starting position in one what is the c so it will print here c look it is coming c similarly when print mid dollar computer if it is 2 comma 1 so this is the starting uh, position okay and this is the length okay my dear students so in the second place in computer what is the there is o so when i will run okay so what you will get upper one this is the c next time it is o suppose length is 2 okay my dear students so ah uh, you can look uh, in computer okay let me one make table okay then it will be easy to understand so suppose in computer we have eight character okay so i will write here c o m p u t e r okay my dear students so this is position one two three four five six seven eight okay before i took one and one so in the starting position is one length is also one so it was what was output if i write here one comma one what was output c okay now when i took two comma one it was o now two comma two so second position there is starting by second position but we have to count to one two so length is two so it will come o m okay so when we write here two comma two in mid dollar of computer so you can what you will get o m okay look here students okay so here we have o m so what we are getting here o m in this way a uh, function of mid dollar what it is just it will extract the number so this is the starting position and this is the length okay so in uh, this is the function of mid dollar okay now let's come to if you understood this lane tab and mid dollar then very easily we can find the output of this program okay so let me delete this one okay my dear students now come to this program okay my dear students let me delete this one so how many variable we have here one variable is p second l third one is k then one counter we have i okay this is the loop it will go for one two lien and dollar okay my dear students fine similarly what it will be it will be print tab k so it will specify the space then mid dollar we have the uh, what is the string value here so that is signs this is position and this is the length okay i hope it is clear to you okay my dear students so now we have uh, three four values so i will write here counter okay so p l k then one for i counter then for print statement okay so we have here p second variable l third variable k counter is i and uh, there is output okay 
output okay my response so initial value of p is 1 l is value of l is 7 value of k is 5 and what is the counter value it is 1 okay my response now remember okay let me auto fit to content okay so in output what it is so output it is tab k then next is mid dollar okay i will copy same thing here now tell me students in mid dollar okay i will replace and dollar with signs s c i e n c e signs what is the value of p value of p is 1 what is the value of l so value of l is 7 okay my response okay so this equal to so it is starting from 1 and it will go for 7 so what is in position of 1 it is s then it will go for 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so it will s c i e n c e sign so all it will come okay my dear students next okay after this output what is p value will be increased by 1 so before it was 1 so 1 plus 1 what it will be 2 fine then value of l is decreased by 2 so it is 7 minus 2 what it will be 5 and then k value will be increased by 1 so it is 5 then it will be 6 and value of i will be 2 so i will paste sorry now just i will note down so value of p is 2 and value of l is 5 okay my dear students now look here what it will be in the position of 2 as c so we have c here from c we have to count for 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 c i e n c okay now again p value will be increased by 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3 value of l will be decreased by 2 okay so what it will be value will be 5 minus 2 that is 3 then k value will be increased by 1 so it is 7 now i value is 3 okay so now we will replace the value of p by 3 and the length is also 3 okay my dear students look equal to okay so here what it is in three position third position sci so we have here i then one two three i e n okay next time value of p will be four and three minus two is one value of k is eight then this will be four okay so sorry let's paste this one so now value of p is four and value of l is one equal to so in signs okay so one two three four we have e only okay fine now next time it's uh what it will be value of p will be 4 plus 1 that is 5 value of l will be minus 1 minus 2 means minus 1 okay so this uh program won't print anything here okay because it is just okay 
so let me write let me correct this program stf plus 2 okay so it will go for 1 3 5 and 7 it will increase back to okay my dear students so condition will be fulfilled okay so this program was incomplete before okay now loop also completed and our string also completed okay now i will show you the output okay so question number six my dear students i have to add here a step plus two it was missing before so file save okay now i will run it okay my dear students okay so you can look my dear students because initially uh, tab position was five next time six seven eight and our pattern is s c i n c science then from c to c from i to n and e okay so we can write final output like this okay so sorry alt eight seven five six therefore we can write here final output is so what is our final output you can look is in s c i e n c e science then from second position c i e n c okay then okay from third position i e n okay and at last there is only e so like this pyramid it is created okay my dear students okay so now it is okay so in this way we can write the output of given program okay i hope it is clear to you if you have any confusion then you can write uh, mail to me at plcomputersor at the gmail.com okay i will make a video tutorial on that also okay so this much for in this video okay thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe plk computer thank you